recent statement in Special Rapporteur Scala Marge, he said that COVID-19 emergency measures in a country like Philippines could lead to increased state of violence of the police, particular and the marginalized. Said verbatim, of course, in a country like the Philippines, law enforcement is already acting national law beyond stand for the use of force. So you can only imagine additional powers under a state of are. Well, my comment is, again, I've been consistent. I know uh, Professor Agnes, she's not a specialist on extra-legal killing. She's a specialist on freedom of expression. It would have been better if the UN appointed an, an actual expert on uh, extra-legal killings no? of the same caliber as uh, Philip Alston. No? Um, I wish Agnes good luck. I wish she could get um, tenure in her university so that she can actually be recognized as an expert. Now, I'd like to say restate the rule in uh, international law. The use of force is not prohibited by, state, by the state, provided it is necessary and it is proportional. And I think the kind of um, responses, the use of force that we have seen, satisfy these criteria. If not, then the appropriate cases are filed, whether be it criminal or administrative, which is the duty of the state in case of an alleged violation of the right to life. Secretary Anya. Yes. Uh Uh, kung makikita natin ang sitwasyon sa Pilipinas, compare natin sa ibang bansa, lalo na sa Amerika, malayong malayo yung ating sitwasyon. Mula na nagsimula ang ating crisis, ay more or less mga 100,000 violators ang na, natala natin. At ang kinasuhan doon ay almost about 50%. Ay iba naman doon ay uh, pinagsabihan lang uh, at uh, pinauwi naman. Ano? At itong mga talagang uh, kinasuhan natin ay ranging of different cases. At ito naman ay talagang uh, na kinakailangan. At makikita natin ang uh, pag pagsunod ng ating mga kababayan sa batas ay maganda. No? Ikumpara natin to sa ibang bansa ay malaki ang depresya at hindi tayo magkakaroon ng sinasabing anumang looting o anumang ibang mga uh, breakdown sapagkat lubos namang masunurin ng mga Pilipino. So, yan lang naman na ating masasabi. Uh, we're really doing good in the terms of peace and order. Kaya nga sinasabi ko, 59% drop tayo sa sa crime. Sa tingin ko, yan lang isang magandang one of the many positives that we achieve uh, during this crisis. And ang Pilipino naman ay lubang disiplinado. I mean, talaga namang by nature ay disiplinado ang mga Pilipino. Kaya ako nang babastos, you know, I am not really that kind of person. Pero because of the exasperation and the attitude ng alam mo ang human rights. Magsabi yan sila, ito yung human rights na namatay. 10,000, 15,000, 20,000, lagyan mo na 100,000. Walang ginawa kung kunin yung listahan kung sino yung namatay. Tapos yan, extrajudicial killing. Pagdating dito ng mga ugok, lalo na itong mga puti, Talagang walang silbi sa buhay ang mga yawa na yan. Sa, sabi na, you know, Duterte, it is a social problem. It is a social impact. It is a health issue. O kung social issue, health issue, do, titignan mo ang likod. If you are really a journalist of you, worth your 